Hello everyone, and welcome to my General Hospital YouTube channel, I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. In this timeless plot, who will be the next to fly? The week of February 12 to 16, 2024, on General Hospital is going to be very exciting. Spoilers suggest that Sonny will be putting more pressure on Dex while he takes the heat. Watch the entire action in Port Charles by tuning in next week. Laura stepped in and convinced Nicholas to give himself over to Dante. Gregory and Sam were informed by Alexis that she felt bad about helping Esm get employment. After Sonny confided in Dante, the latter's son promised to assist in tracking down his assailant. Martin informed Lucy he deserved better, and Scott comforted her. John accepted Anna's offer, and as a result, she and Jordan were detained for obstruction. Brick told Sonny he had his suspicions about Dex, but he will investigate. Michael assigned Dex a new task. Tracy admitted to Martin that, in revenge for their pranks, she had tampered with his relationship with Lucy. However, it was too late. Upon going to apologize, he discovered Lucy had had an affair with Scott. John received a major surprise from Anna. She was accepting Laura's invitation to become the new commissioner of Port Charles Police. Farewells were held by Spencer's relatives and friends, among them a resurrected Cameron who supported Trina and Joss. Two persons paying their respects to Esn were taken aback when Heather unexpectedly showed up as a mourner on her behalf, Kevin and Liz. Finn noticed that Gregory's ALS condition was getting worse. Dan felt torn between his career and his father. Michael and Willow moved closer to making amends. They came to the conclusion that their father needed to live with Finn after Chase confided in Finn about his worries. Speaking with Lois, Gregory understood he ought to live with Finn and inquired. When it comes to an advertising guy who was considering leaving Crimson to work with Nana once more, Carly receives help from Brooklyn. Nana requested that Martin review the contracts of her former workers to see if he could remove the no-compete clause. Michael explained everything that transpired between him and Nina in an attempt to win Sonny over. Willow was concerned about Drew and his unquenchable resentment of Nina. At last, Sonny got back in touch with John, who he had known as Jagger in the past. He was informed about a recent spate of mob attacks during their conversation, and John claimed to be there to help him. While Carly and Drew talked about his grudge against Nina, they assisted Joss in coping with her loss. While Brick was taking Jordan out to return the favor, he also discovered something about Dex. Cody enjoyed a fantastic night out with Sasha and Spinelli while helping her with Maxie. Things in Sunny's orbit flare up as we approach. Brick was able to get Dex on his radar, and now the boss of the mob is wary of his prodigy. As Sunny's rage increases, things get risky for the young man. Somewhere along the line, Ao tries to counsel her daughter's father, but Sunny delivers a warning by the end of the week. Who is he going after? Jordan and Dante receive some unsettling news somewhere. Is this related to the look into those pilfered weapons and the attempted murder of Sunny? As the three of them work to come up with a strategy to capture the bad men and keep everyone safe, Anna will join them. To learn more about what's coming up, make sure to look at the daily breakdown provided below. In this timeless plot, who will be the next to fly? Luke and Laura from General Hospital may not have created the concept of love on the run in soap operas, but they certainly popularized it. When Luke and Laura went on their mission to take down Frank Smith and his mafia in the summer of 1980, it started a tradition that soap operas continue to follow today when they seek to infuse their couples with danger and passion. The action in Luke and Laura's soap operas used to take place in the kitchen or the living room if you were feeling particularly formal, and finally the bedroom. Soaps took off after this duo appeared on the scene. As soon as L and L managed to stop an evil weather machine on Cassadine Island and hide out in Beecher's Corners, there was a bear fighting Erica Kane on All My Children, a homicidal dwarf being fought by Tom and Margot, Margaret Collin, in As the World Turns, and Philip and Beth, 
played by Margaret Collin, rushing off to New York and meeting Street Nick on Guiding Light. Perilous times make the heart grow closer. On the young and the restless, Daniel and Lily might have recently reignited their romance, that is, until his ex Heather put an end to it. But when Lily went on the run with Daniel after he was charged with having a role in Cassie's death, that's when they first became friends as teenagers. Brady grabbed Tate and they pretended to be a family while pretending to be on Days of Our Lives, with Nickel desperately trying to hold onto her baby Holly. Not to mention the many romantic road excursions that supercouples like Jack and Jennifer, Steve and Kayla, and both and Hope enjoyed away from Salem. Who then will be the next dynamic traveling duo in soap operas? Will Cameron and Trina search for a missing Spencer? John sets off with Marlena to retire the pawn. Chelsea is constantly rushing somewhere. Is Billy ready to go with her now? In your opinion, who should succeed Luke and Laura? Tell us in the comments section below. You may recognize a few faces. Who is coming to General Hospital or going out? Are any of your all-time favorite actors from the past making a comeback to the daytime drama this week or in the near future? Here is the most recent ABC soap opera casting news. Jason Morgan's return is becoming closer. Steve Burton, who is scheduled to return to the drama on March 4, started filming sequences as his well-known GH persona last week. The last time the character appeared on the ABC soap opera was in 2021, when he seemed to perish in a Cassidine Island tunnel explosion. On GH, Burton made his debut in 1991. Many people have theories on what Jason will accomplish and who he will be matched with when he returns. Will he reconnect with Sam or Elizabeth? Or will he continue where he left off with Carly, Laura Wright? On Tuesday, February 13, Jacqueline Grace Lopes will reprise her role as Blaze. To find out if the singer and her sister Christina are dating, look for Molly. How would she respond? And will Molly question whether Christina's pregnancy was a good idea at this point? The two explore some amazing, even startling, Hollywood tales. On the February 4 episode of Morris Bernard's video podcast show Status of Mind, the star of NYPD Blue, Sharon Lawrence, and Bernard, who plays General Hospital, had conversation about a wide range of topics, including mental health, emotionally taxing acting roles, the status of the world, and more. Lawrence told Bernard that while her first plan had been to become a journalist, she had fallen in love with acting while doing summer stock work in her home state of North Carolina, and that she needed to change careers. Since the 1990s, she has performed on stage, screen, and in movies. Her marriage to psychiatrist Dr. Tom Apostle also allowed her to get deeply involved in mental health concerns. Both Bernard and Lawrence acknowledged that conditions like bipolar disorder were never discussed which made them wonder at how far mental health awareness has come. Later, the conversation shifted to the serious subject of suicide, with Lawrence describing her experience playing bipolar and suicidal characters. She also mentioned well-known bipolar actors and actresses, such as Vivian Leigh from Gone with the Wind. The illness was known as manic depression or the mania at the time and was not known as bipolar disorder. Actresses like Lee were likewise forced to conceal their bipolar disorder, but people like Bernard are now outspoken about it. Bernard tells the tale of a friend who was recently diagnosed with bipolar disorder. When he requested his friend to just quit drinking, he was advised that doing so temporarily eased the discomfort. Bernard reminded the audience that suffering never goes away. In a recent play, The Shot, Lawrence portrayed Catherine Graham a former Washington Post publisher, as a lady coping with a loved one's mental illness. Lawrence was reminded by playing Graham that actors must look after themselves while playing such sensitive parts. Graham supported her bipolar spouse for 20 years until he committed suicide. She stated, As actors, we need to learn how to stay safe and stay mentally healthy too, and went on to say that she served on the board of the SAG AFTRA Foundation an organization that works to guarantee that its members have the insurance necessary to pursue therapy for mental and physical health problems. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, 
So please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.